Good evening, students, administration, families, and friends. My name is Janice Salazar, and I am president of the Pueblos chapter of Elbert Brooks chapter of the National Honor Society. It is my pleasure to welcome you to 2020 Honors Night. Tonight, we honor and celebrate the accomplishments of our very own Pueblo High School students who have only begun their academic achievements. These people are not only our future leaders, but they are people who will contribute tremendously to our community. It does not matter the career or path we take in life. I know we will succeed. We have grown roots of love for our home, and I know we will improve the future of it. Our community is always in need of these contributions, and we will rise to the challenge of an uncertain future for ourselves and the world. To be a part of Pueblos, to be a, to be a Pueblo student takes initiative, courage, strength, and discipline. We were by each other's sides day by day, whether it was waking up at 4 a.m. to study together for a test or staying after hours to support one another in extracurriculars. I've never been part of such a supportive and loving environment where we all tackle obstacles together and move forward as a community. This courage and initiative that Pueblo demonstrated allowed us to develop these skills. We are a rising tide and will always work as a team to overcome any challenge. We as Pueblo warriors are strong as a whole. I am proud and honored to be able to represent Pueblo High School and take these warrior qualities with me into this new chapter as I'm sure you all will as well. To be an honor student takes a great amount of work ethic, commitment, dedication, and support. It means late night studying or calling each other when times are rough. It means pushing yourself so that one day we will be able to help our community. And it also means being passionate in what we do. We work hard and dedicate ourselves to accomplish goals that will lead us into better opportunities. An honor student is about trying and sometimes failing, but getting back up again to pour more energy into reaching our academic goals. As 2020 seniors, we will end the year strong. Our last school year has been unbelievable, but it, it was also a test that I can proudly say we passed. It was not easy to end this year without the company of teachers and friends or the extra support, but we still exceeded. We proved that we can conquer anything through any circumstance because we have proven our resilience and perseverance, and that is recognized tonight. I could not be more proud to be a part of Honors Night and to have all of my closest friends here. Thank you all for demonstrating such a supportive environment because, none of, because without that, none of us would be here. Thank you for attending. Good evening, and welcome to Pueblo's first ever virtual honors night. As you know, many of Pueblo's end of the year celebrations have been compromised due to the virus, and we seriously considered not hosting such an event. But then images appeared in my head, mental pictures of you, Pueblo students, up late at midnight, writing an essay for Mr. Santa Cruz, analyzing a piece of literature for Ms. Strovink, or working on your 10th edit for Ms. Rimmel. And I thought not hosting an honors night wasn't an option. I refused to allow the virus to hold my mind hostage as it has done to so many bodies around the world. In essence, you are here tonight as models of perseverance, creativity, and hard work. And like most models, they were created for others to follow. We did this in an effort to follow your lead, your model. Honors night and events like it, some may think, is a celebration of one's innate ability to read through texts, solve a math problem or execute an experiment with ease, a gift of sorts. But as each of these students will attest, handed down ability isn't why they sit before you today. I remember waking up early one morning, driving to Starbucks to buy my secretary a tea before work. She preferred tea over coffee and it felt good as it always does to cruise the streets with no traffic, pounding the music with windows down. As I entered the establishment, I saw Aaron Kuzdal and one other student studying. And here I thought I was Mr. Cool Guy being the first warrior up only to arrive at a store where Pueblo students had already assembled in full sweat studying for exams. Sienna said it best in her graduation speech 
and it encapsulates the message I want to relay. It is a quote from Albert Einstein. I didn't fail a thousand times. I just discovered a thousand ways it didn't work. This student's, the attitude, the relentless pursuit of excellence is not only why you are here tonight, but why you will go on to be successful in your next endeavor. We made it hard on you. Like many Pueblo graduates of before, some at difficult schools, many at the University of Arizona, and others, unfortunately, at ASU, report to us, college is easier than Pueblo High School. Students, we understand the struggles that await you from the unpredicted to the emergent, which is why we challenged you. We made you work incredibly hard so that one day you will be the ones telling us college was easier than Pueblo High School. I wish you and your families the best of luck and don't forget the lessons you learned within these walls. God bless and congratulations. Thank you. Now for our Senior Honors Night speakers. Presenting in English will be Diana Guidos. Presenting in Spanish, Emily Gastelum. Hi, my name is Diana, also known as Dee. I know that we've all been waiting a long time to graduate and to see our loved ones graduate, especially with the pandemic that has been going on around the world. Trust that I won't take too long of your time. Tonight, you are all in good hands, and I believe you'll be able to enjoy the next few minutes. The theme for tonight is a clear vision, and right now, I have a clear vision of my dinner. I want to start by saying that I won't claim to know each and every one of you, because I don't. But that doesn't make us complete strangers. Maybe we work together on a group on one of Strobing's many assignments. Maybe we sit together outside on the field during a fire drill, talking about how most likely a freshman either pulled the fire alarm or lit a trash can on fire. Again. Maybe you're the cousin of the person that saw me trip down the stairs off. One way or another, our paths have crossed. For some of us, dropping out was never an option. If you have a mom like mine, you know exactly what I mean. For others, no one really believed in you and you were expected to drop out. Everyone here had to learn to see themselves beyond the stereotypes and prejudice imposed on them. Today, I wanna to congratulate every single one of you for being able to defeat the stereotypes and prejudice that others and maybe yourself had of you. The person I owe the greatest amount of gratitude is my mother. She was born in Guatemala, and when she came to the US, she didn't know English very well. School was a bit of a challenge, and she wasn't able to graduate. She has been my biggest support, not only through school, but throughout my life. I don't know where I would be without her. I've done my best in school for her so that she can see me graduate. Also, thank you to my dad. He's been in my life for the past 14 years. He means the world to me. Regardless of blood, he's my dad. I would also like to thank Mr. R. Thank you for believing in each of us and for fighting hard to make sure we have the graduation we deserved. Also, thank you to our teachers, counselors, office staff, custodians, and monitors for pushing us to get here. To me, having a clear vision is knowing who you used to be, who you are, the things you've done, and where you've come from. Every one of us is unique. As we go forward and follow our different paths, whether that means you're heading to a trade school, a university, the army, or wherever the wind takes you, Remember to be ready for whatever life throws at you. Keep going, because regardless of what people try to tell you, you don't need to have all the answers right now. And it doesn't matter how long it takes or what order you do it in, as long as you get it done for yourself. The most important thing you can do is to be your own cheerleader. No, I don't mean like Layla or any of the wonderful cheerleaders here at Pueblo. I mean, encourage yourself 
and give yourself the motivation to keep pushing, even if all odds seem to be against you. Like when we lost our senior year. We may have missed out on moments we've been looking forward to for as long as we could remember, but we prevailed. When everyone told us we couldn't, we did. We looked back at who we were, all the things we've done, and saw that we are Guerreros. And Guerreros don't quit. We fight for what we want. We fought for graduation, and here we are. The past four years are the years we are never going to get back and are full of memories we won't experience again. Although it has its problems, Pueblo is a part of our past and will be a part of our future. Pueblo is family, and family cares for one another. Just like when Nellie gave me her jacket because she knew I was cold, or when Mr. Campbell would feed his classes, especially my fifth period, granola bars or pretzels when we are hungry, and just how her dad does for her. Miss Sutton makes sure to give us a card every Valentine's Day so that we know we are appreciated. At Pueblo, we didn't always get along, and God knows we didn't always want to be a part of it. One way or another, we are connected. Pueblo will forever be in our hearts because once a warrior, always a warrior. Thank you. Representante del Distrito Escolar de Tucson, Señor Frank, Frank Rothenhauser, Director de Pueblo High y Equipo de Administración. Papás, mamás, abuelos, abuelas, guardianes, familia. Gracias por estar aquí presentes en un día tan especial. Clase de 2020. Con respecto, con mucho orgullo les doy, les doy la bienvenida a nuestra graduación. Una graduación única e inolvidable. Bienvenidos, clase 2020. Por fin, aquí estamos en el lugar que siempre soñamos, en la tarde que siempre deseábamos. Esto es el comienzo de un futuro brillante, y poderoso, cambiante y vigoroso. La generación del año 2020 va a dejar huella en la historia por ser una generación diferente en muchos aspectos, tanto emocional, económico y social. Sé que los recuerdos que tenemos de los últimos meses no son los que queríamos, pero sé que ustedes, incluyéndome a mí, recordarán claramente la primera vez que entramos a esta etapa de nuestra vida llamada Pueblo High. Mirando hacia atrás, veo a una niña emocionada y feliz en su primer día de grado 9. Nerviosa, estudiando su horario y hablando con sus amigas y ver si tenían clases juntas. Mientras también hablaban sobre el futuro de nuestra prepa de actividades como nuestro prom, senior night, senior trip y mucho más. Nunca olvidaré, al igual que ustedes, las emociones emociones que sentíamos cuando asistíamos a los juegos y asambleas. Recuerdos que nos llevaremos en nuestros corazones. Juntos con estos recuerdos nos llevaremos todas las sonrisas de nuestros amigos, todo el cariño que nos enseñaron los maestros y la alegría que sentía al ver mi escuela cada mañana. La emoción que me inundaba al hacer los programas de radio y tantas y tantas experiencias más. Un año antes de su muerte, la pintora mexicana Frida Kahlo sabiamente nos dejó dichos. Pies para qué los quiero, si tengo alas para volar. La pintora, además de pintar autorretratos y plasmar sus angustias y dolores físicos, le puso colores a nuestro futuro. Después de esta pandemia, que ha provocado una separación social que cerró nuestra escuela, no habrá tiempo para caminar. Tenemos que volar a realizar nuestros sueños, seguir preparándonos y seguir viendo hacia adelante, por nosotros mismos y por los nuestros. Son días de enfrentar desafíos con una visión clara de los nuevos tiempos que nos están definiendo, aceptando los cambios, provocando los cambios. Ánimo clase 2020. Empecemos a volar. Felicidades. Every year, our different departments nominate outstanding students for the Outstanding Student of the Year Awards. We will now read the award recipients. AVID Student of the Year, Ruben Huerta. CTE Student of the Year, Leonard Parra. English Student of the Year, Natalie Aguilar Vega. Fine Arts Student of the Year, Alexandra Leva. Math Student of the Year, Hazel Haynes. PE Student of the Year, Cameron Fimbres. Science Student of the Year, Daniela Diaz. Social Studies Student of the Year, Jocelyn Curiel. World Languages Student of the Year, Jacqueline Almazan, English Language Development Student of the Year, 
Isaac Rangel Beltran, Pueblo Teacher Student of the Year, Julian D. Lopez. Now we would like to take a moment to honor those foreign exchange students that came from abroad to join us here at Pueblo High School this year. Simone Marleta, James Amster, and Kantanapat Nuk Gong. We would like to present the Kiwanis Student of the Year, Mariana Robles. Congressman Grijalva Student of the Year, Ricardo Laguna. Congressman Grijalva Teacher of the Year, Mr. Gregory Obregón. Lorraine Lee, Student of the Year, Alec Mendez. Pueblo High School, Loreen Lee Service Awards, given to Hazel Haynes, Carmen Membrilla, and Allison Barone. Loreen Lee, Teacher of the Year, Dr. Lolita Loli Levine. Trio Educational Talent Search Student of the Year, Mariana Robles. Trio Upward Bound Student of the Year, Jasmine Marin. The following individuals are receiving an NHS stole is given to NHS members in good standing who have upheld the tenets of leadership, character, scholarship, and service. The National Honor Society Chords are awarded to students who have completed 50 out service hours per year of membership, including at least 10 per year, specifically serving the Pueblo community. Lastly, the, honor, the National Honor Society Honors Varsity Letters are awarded to NHS members graduating with a GPA of 3.6 or above. We would now like to present to you the inaugural class of the Pueblo College Preparatory Academy graduating seniors. These students have worked hard and completed one of the most difficult academic programs at Pueblo High School. For this, they are receiving Pueblo High School's inaugural Academy Varsity Letter. The following Academy students went even further and completed amazing service learning projects for which they are receiving a service pin and sash. And now we would like to take a moment to honor all of the hard work of our students and their achievements in attaining scholarships this year.
Now we will recognize our student athletes receiving scholarships to play at the next level. Damon Carrasco, Cameron Fimbres, Mariah Clark, Carlos Molina, Rochelle Romero, Hassan Aiden. We would like to take a moment to honor those students here at Pueblo High School who have taken upon themselves to protect our borders by joining one of our military branches. Going into the Air Force, Mariana Guerrero. Army, Stefan Suage. Marine Corps, Jose Amaya, Said Gamez Silva, and Jose Rodriguez. Thank you for taking the time to join us in honoring all of the hard work our students have done at Pueblo High School. Please join us tomorrow at the Class of 2020 Tailgate Parade. Thank you and good night.